And we're back. A little bit of the weekend. Getting started for the weekend at least. Already been messing around, doing some other things. Playing some games oh, with the buds. So hopefully uh, for your guys this Saturday when you guys uh, pull this up, it is a good, have a good weekend. My start to the weekend was kind of slow, but again, it's been a good time. Now, really quick, I did want to, um, I, I did want to uh, shout something out really quick uh, to Henrique because you asked in the comments about Super Evolutions, and um, just so I'm not talking about it necessarily, I, I don't want to be typing paragraph after paragraph when I want to show something because uh, specifically you asked about Monarch and you know her Super Evolution versus uh, Horon. Uh, uh, specifically, and I don't even have, where is, where is my light miho? That's a good question, but, uh, looking at the two, at the Astromon, uh, again, I, I kind of stand by what I told you, so what it comes down to is every Astromon has its place in the game, and it does something, uh, different, and that comes down to evaluating, uh, your Astromon and what they do, so looking at, uh, Horon here, even super evolving her, right, Fire, uh, fire. the difference between fire, water, uh, and wood, uh, even light and dark, right? My light and my dark uh, uh, Horons uh, specifically are actually really good. I super evolved my dark one, and that's because of the aggression HP. So what I do, what I 100% what I encourage you to do is to come in here and, and literally take the time and just look at each one of these skills and think about where does this apply at, right? Um, because immediately I can give you, just even looking at my light, uh, the light Horon here, that I want to eventually super evolve my, my light, um, my light Horon, because, you know, her fearless taunt right here is, first of all, this is amazing in PvP, reducing the damage she receives by 50% for one turn, and then she can, you know, taunt the enemy, hopefully, and that just draws its attention for two turns. This locks things down, but this also has a PvE element to it, right? So out in the field she'd be she'd be taking 50 percent less damage every time right so this is still a good skill right and you come into her special active skill as well at the attack down specifically is is great because you're reducing the attack of the astromons that you're fighting now this is at a 60 percent chance this is boosted by going into books but again i don't want to spend too much time on this advice but this is a hundred percent where you you get you got to look at what you what you do in the game specifically if you're an avid pvp here you know we, we talk you hear me mention it all the time crowd control is kind of king so you know look at the differences between each astromon you know kind of thumbing through here and and read these abilities and just think about where they would apply and that's literally all all i would do um and that's how all i do when i'm giving you know when i'm giving out any type of advice too you know looking at monarch here and and looking through her fire one versus her water right versus wood it, it really just boils down to what what are you going to use that astromon for and is it worth it to spend the um to spend the materials that you end up building up on it now for me i will eventually do this for everybody because that's that's just something that's a personal goal for me but when it comes down to choosing or making a comparison between them it's really hard to do so only because they all do different things and i hope that makes sense uh it's 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 one of those things where they're definitely all they all have a place in what they can they can and cannot do uh and so it, it also can boil down to and you hear me say this all the time you know if you like let's say wood wood monarch you know then that super evolve her there's there's really there really shouldn't be anything to prevent you or that should be stopping you from from doing that so uh i just wanted to kind of kind of cover that really when it comes down to it um and and again i know i know the conversation does come up well i want to know who is the best astromon for it well once again without knowing what astromons you actually have right uh because again you if you just tell me hey i have these these two astromon but you don't give me an element i really couldn't give you a comparison necessarily with those um and that was why i asked you in the at the end of my comment i said hey well what are like who are the two that you're looking at right 
So if it came down to should I super evolve my light Monarch versus my light uh, Horon, for instance, I would 100% go with my light Horon. And the reason is, is light Horon has a little bit more of a pull to me and what I do in the game than uh, my my light Monarch for it, for that example. So. But once again, uh, and, uh, and um, I, I have no problem giving out, you know, advice and telling you which one. Just make sure you, you, you know, you ask in the comments, you tell me what two you're looking at specifically. Um, that'll help me help you help everybody else, so to speak. So, um, how many days we got left? Oh, we're still at, we're still at technically three days. So what is this going to be? Monday? Um... Monday is when she comes out, but uh, I already have her. Uh, to also, to go back uh, to the comment as well, um, I was asked about. I think it was, it was uh, Henrik about um, um, Jiang Jiang Shi. I'm gonna I'm gonna screw that up, and you guys are gonna bully me for it. And it's it's lovely. I <laughs> it's uh um I actually did look up how to act you know pronounce that, but now it escapes my mind. Uh, the, this Astromon's not that bad. Uh, right now I have her just boosted with HP because I was trying to use her for the Dimensional Dungeon. But she is an attacker, so she's a decent attacker. What you gotta look at is her skills here. So Curse, 100% chance to inflict three curses on the enemy. This is a, just like Sap. Um, the one thing you wanna do is combo this with her, her active skill, which explosive damage in proportion to the number of cur uh, curses on the uh, opponent. So this Astromon's good for another dotting, like to dot, uh, um, to dot bosses or other Astromon up to kill them quickly. The problem I ran into is when I tried to run them with the Dimensional Dungeon, the curse damage didn't do Jack Diddley Squat against, I think it was the Water uh, Benji uh, specifically that I ran against. So, but she's good. I like her. Um, I think uh, out of the entire set, I think she's one of the again as an attacker um i don't remember the entire line oh actually i think it's only fire light and dark for this one hold on we can we can remedy this no it is the full full never mind i lied don't listen to me um we have the whole the whole uh kitten caboodle here so another curse for the water a sleep chance um slightly increase the attack power this is unflinching strike is kind of meh it's not bad but it's okay the sleep is all right uh light i forget if light is a an attacker as well has morale boost this is always good and then hp siphon this will restore uh allies so this is kind of like a passive team heal but it's not in the first slot so it's not weighed as heavily but the dark version is she's not bad um, and once again, I always say this, uh, I will say this for every capture festival, 100% uh, keep the light and dark versions, never get rid of them. Uh, Cause you'll never, unfortunately to say it this way, you'll never see them again. Uh, and when I was first starting to do capture festivals, we didn't even get a, a fusion uh, with them to fuse and get the light and dark versions. You just had to get lucky and um, you couldn't get them out there. How did we get the light and dark? Maybe I'm think I'm remembering that wrong. That we've always had fusions for this, but I I kind of remember that we didn't have fusions. But yeah, I don't. I actually don't remember. But the the, the point I'm still making is always hold on. You know, always try and when, with these capture festivals. Uh, no matter where you're at in the account, this is this goes for new players as well. Do your best to go out in there and capture. Um, to capture as many Astromon as possible. Uh, I think what I'm going to start doing is for my festival advice, I'm going to take that video down and then re just re-upload it so that, you know, the p new people in the channel who get here uh, every month, you guys, you know, I can kind of reiterate my, my capture festival advice to just tell you what to go out and literally, you know, spend some time focusing because, again, these... I put more weight on the light and the dark Astromon because you can't, you don't see them. You're not going to be able to summon them. Whereas some of some other Astromon, you can summon them quite easily or go out and capture them, for instance. But when it comes down to these capture festivals, because you don't know when they're going to run this Astromon again, um, there's a reason why I put so much, um, 
I, I put so much weight on the last Capture Festival with Truffle. I hadn't seen that Astromon. Um, I missed it when I before I came back to play the game four years ago. So because I hadn't seen it, and again, I've been playing it. I played this game diligently every month. So I did not. It took them four years to bring Truffle back. So that's kind of why I'm I'm telling you guys, you know, get out there and capture these Astromon when you can, because you don't know when they're gonna make an appearance. And if you do, and hopefully you do stick around with, with the game, um, <laughs> hopefully you're, you you don't, it's not going to be like me where, hey, that one was, we had that three years ago. Because I can still name a couple other Astromon that were released uh, three years ago now that we haven't seen, um, seen since, so... Alright, those are out here. Yeah, free entry into the Tower of Chaos. I'm going to knock that out. Uh, how are we doing in here? We are still losing, but that's fine. I think I am not going to mess with that. And we're just going to get in here and do the rough and tumble. First things first, you got to go. Oh man, just a sliver of health. And Light Odin, all right, well, or not Light Odin, excuse me. I saw the, sh the silver and then this kind of triggered me to say that. That's Water Odin, not scared of that. Let's get rid of Pumpkin. Uh, well, jack-o'-lantern, excuse me. I just call it pumpkin because, yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's been one of those days. Um, Let's get rid of you. Aha, resisted. Let me undo everything you did. And there we go. And also, too, um... I, I, the name, a uh, name is escaping me at the moment and I apologize, but, uh, again, and I want to just put it out there. Thank, I, I appreciate everybody's advice, um, especially comes into the comments uh, section because again, I, you know, I do not know everything in the game. Um, and 100% to, uh, definitely sum up a little bit of it too, with the Astromon specifically, cause we were, uh, they were talking about the, like the gemming and whatnot. Um, the one thing I have a have I don't have a problem with, but one of the harder things it is with Monster Super League is definitely getting the right substats. And when we were talking about Fenrir and um, Wood Jean specifically, because um, you're 100 percent correct, they're they're built with the critical strike built into both their attacks. So obviously in the gemming you would you definitely would go towards trying to get their critical strike strike rate um, as high as possible. But you're also wanting to, you know. You're, you're trying to maximize the amount of damage that the Astromon do. So you don't, it, it's, it's just that, that, that balance game, right? Is trying to, to get that. And like you said, I think it was get them around 50%, you know, critical strike rate and, and then go on crit damage and a hundred percent. That's, that's the one thing about um, Dark Mona. As much as I sing her praises, the one thing about her is she doesn't have a high crit rate. So, she has the crit damage though at 100 percent and that's her base stat so when it comes down to her specifically you you want to try and boost her crit rate up but also you want to focus more on getting that that critical strike damage going um and that's kind of the you know that's going to be your bread and butter and how she takes things down so 100 uh, percent no uh, like i said going and thinking about that i realize that with their skills the problem just becomes you know they're they're jamming and hoping for those substats that are going to get there because I believe on my wood gene, we'll go check it out here as we, we get a, get done here on the daily. Um, I think I was just gemming her for crit anyway. And the substats I was having on her got her to, uh, specifically got her to the 100% crit, uh, critical strike chance uh, without me having to do too much more. 
um, on her. But let me, before we, we do this, uh, what do we got left? Elemental, Golem, haven't done that. We need to ascend. This is not out yet, so let's not double check it. But yeah, I'll show that on her uh, specifically here. Because yeah, 100% she's got stri or Stalker, excuse me. So already she has a 30% chance here and a 35% on here. Um, but you're noticing here with my gems, I have the plus 60. Now that comes in with one crit rate gem. And I believe I've just done two attack percents. Yeah, so I've tried to boost her attack percent. And yeah, they're, they're five star uh, gems of Siphon. Because I do rotate uh, my Wood Gene in because she is good. Um, and I'll end off on there once again talking about this specifically. We addressed it at the beginning of the video. I'll address it here. Um, this is where, you know, coming down and evaluating Astromons, it, it is very important to figure out how to gem them correct. And, and I say gem them correctly. I still screw around um, on it. And I can just show that here really quick. Like my, my dark gene here, right? I've buffed her for attack. She's a defender. But because of her morale boost, I just wanted to throw her in to be able to help kill waves of uh, Astromon when I'm out super uh, evolution far uh, material farming. So I wanted her to hit harder. So this is a case where I'm actually just screwing around with the gems. This is not necessarily the correct way to do this. And I'm fully aware of that. But when it comes down to, you know, looking at Astromon though, you really want to play towards their, their strength. So. This comes down to evaluating what each version of the Astromon you're talking about can do for you uh, specifically, right? Because um, that that's going to play into the gems that you do go on, you know, that you do put on the Astromon and the things that you can kind of get away with because it's also a team effort, right? So when you're going out there and building up a synergy, you want to make the team. And that's the fun part. Like I said, I, I mentioned it the other day with like doing the dimensional dungeon is... The dimensional dungeon is would be funner to me if it made me kind of go okay let's say water benji they want you to build a defense down build and you kind of have to figure that out so you have to figure out what's the best team to survive the waves to get up to him to do do defense down and that's kind of how you win the dungeon it's little design choices like that i think the game could use that would make it a little bit more fun than just again attacking something that's 60 levels and in this case uh, 70 levels higher than me and watching it beat the hell out of every team that I throw at it um, and my teams are properly gemmed I'm not, not screwing around in those but I digress that wasn't the point of this uh, my point was you know this is a hundred percent where you need to look at every Astromon individually look at their skills and then evaluate how you want to go about them and then thinking about what are their strengths, what is their weaknesses, and that's how you kind of go forward and gem them. But I've already uh, rambled on too long for the video and I'm going to end it there. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in tomorrow's daily. Thanks for watching.